guys, welcome to another installment of the Klingon Katinga Battle Cruiser in 1350 scale. I know it's been since January, but I'm back on it. Alright, I wanted to get a look at this before I have everything up in primer. I've been working on the Impulse Shuttle Bay deck. Now, when you get the kit, at least on my version, the sidewalls are attached to this piece, which is the front of the Impulse deck. Um, I cut these off so that I could attach it to here to make it easier to paint. But well, when I originally attached them, I didn't <clears throat> test it out enough. And what happened was that this wouldn't fit inside, so I had to break it apart. It took some chunks out of it, but that's okay, because it's nothing that Abe's Epoxy Sculpt wasn't able to fix, although it's not exactly perfect. But it is a Klingon ship anyways. So I was able to get those glued back on and bonded back up. Still have the shuttle bay here, which I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to block this for when I do the rest of the painting because I have to touch up the primer and, of course, do the main painting. Because um, all this is is a decal, and I don't want to be lifting a decal up with tape. Now the soup ladle, the forward bridge section. I. Part of the reason why I wasn't working on this was because uh, Jesse's build, did the Jesse Bucks Mom Memorial build took precedence, and and then I got onto the Voltron, the Klingon ship. You know, if you're watching this on one of the uh, live streams, the Sunday st live streams uh, last year, you would have seen me blow out the uh, the photon torpedoes because I had attached it to 12 volts instead of, or 9 volts, instead of the 1.9, because I forgot these were not resistored yet until they're onto the board. So I was able to crack this open and get that fixed. So I reinstalled the circle of LEDs, had everything working, but once it was in, I think I overheated this the, the firing LED too much uh, when I was heating up the shrink tubing because it blew it out. So I had to dig it out. It was super glued in. The uh, the, the photo etch ring and, and the outer LEDs were epoxied in. So I ended up damaging some of the wiring of the daisy chain LEDs. But I, I just globbed a, a good booger of solder on there and it works. I have it back together. Although I am thinking maybe that I should crack this back open don't really want to, but I didn't, in my rush to get things done, I didn't think I really needed to um, paint the inside of this like a silver or, or white so that it could bounce the light around. So there's, even though there's a three LED, LED tape and strip tape in there, it doesn't really distribute the, the lighting as good as I had thought. Although once... I do put windows in there that should help draw the lights out a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't a lot though because seeing how the DS9 didn't show anything but that was also a tighter confined area. But I have this the windows taped up on the observation lounge and in the front so that I can do up the primer and get onto the main paint. I'll hook up the wires so you can see the photon torpedoes. And there we have the photon torpedo light. So you can see, I don't want to blind you too long, but there's eight LEDs right there. Of course this will be animated once it's plugged into the board or wired into the board. I can find the wire for the front. And here is the firing LED. 
gonna have a nice, it has a nice deep red glow in person. So I'll be getting work on this, updating the primer, and I'll be right back. All right, so I forgot to put up the video from before, so I am just tacking it on to um, make this part of the update a little quicker, but I've uh, used the Aztec dummy masks and got the, the main body paint scheme down. Um, I had to add a lot of white, an entire bottle, uh, to the light green, to, or to the, the regular green to make it this color. Um, probably should have kept the regular green alone, but I mixed it with the, the deep green. Uh, I do like it though because it does kind of create a subtle look. Now this, the, uh, the darker gray of the colors, I forgot to mask off when I airbrushed the, the base color. So I ended up having to go back and touch them up by hand and mess things up. And then, so I taped over those and re-sprayed around and it looks pretty decent now, but you know, it's not quite as nice as it could have been. And then I had to hand brush these details on. Um, for the Hobby Link International Armor of World War II group build, I did this little Panther tank. That's 176 scale from Airfix. It's my first time doing a tank. And I have to say it came out pretty well. I uh, It's a custom color that I mixed up. And I used uh, some washes and dust effects for some different streaking and whatnot. It's a little bit of a darker brown in, in person. But it was a fun little kit. Till next time.